In this video, we're going to walk through setting up Boma, Zapier and WordPress so that you can publish content from Boma and it will create a new post in WordPress. First, we'll visit the Boma settings where you'll see a Zapier integration setting. Click on Generate New Key to create a new API key. Once you've created this key, we're going to click on Connect Boma at Zapier.com and this will take you through to Zapier. If you already have a Zapier account, you can sign in on this page, otherwise click Sign Up. From here you can sign up using Google, Facebook or Microsoft, or we're just going to sign up with our email address. Here Zapier is asking you a few questions about yourself and your industry. We're going to skip this for now. After sign up, you should find yourself on this invitation page. If you don't see this page, you can return to the Boma settings and click on the green Connect Boma at Zapier button again. Here we're going to scroll down to the Accept Invite button and click that. You should now find yourself on the Zapier dashboard. From here, we're going to click on Make a new Zap. Now you'll see the editing screen for setting up your Zap. You can give your Zap a title up here, such as Boma Content to WordPress. Now you need to assign the Boma app as the trigger for this app. So search for Boma, select it. Now we're going to choose a trigger event. New content post will trigger when a new content post is created in Boma. Click continue. Now we need to connect our Boma account. So click sign in to Boma. Here is where we need to enter the Boma credentials to connect our Boma account. So we're going to go back to the Boma settings and copy our API key, return to Zapier and paste that in. Once we've entered those two bits of information, we're going to click Yes Continue. Once those settings are saved, you can choose your Boma account from this drop down and then click Continue. Next, you'll see an option to test the trigger. You'll need to have a piece of content pushed from Boma. So return to the Boma content library and click on Deliver to Zapier on a piece of content in the content library. You'll be shown some information in a pop-up about steps you've just completed, and in this case you've done them. So simply submit the content to Zapier. You'll be told that this is queued and waiting to be collected by Zapier. Now we're going to go back to Zapier and click Test Trigger. Here you can see the test was successful. It found a post. You can see the details that came through from Boma. And when you click Continue here, you'll be taken to the action step, which is where you decide what to do with this content. Before we can connect WordPress inside Zapier, We'll need to log in to our WordPress admin and install the Zapier plugin. So head on over to your WordPress website and log in to the admin. Once you're logged into WordPress, you need to go to the plugin section on the left and click Add New. And in the search field, we can search for Zapier. When we've found Zapier for WordPress, click Install Now and Activate. Now you can return to Zapier. Now we're back in Zapier, we can search for the WordPress app. Select it. You'll need to set up two actions. One to upload the image from the post into the WordPress media library and the other to create the WordPress post. So in the Action Event drop-down, we're going to choose Upload Media and click Continue. Here, we'll need to add our WordPress details, so click Sign into WordPress. Here, you'll need to enter three pieces of information. One is the base URL for your website. The next is the username that you use to log in to WordPress and the password that you use to log into WordPress. Once you've entered these, click Yes Continue. 
In the WordPress account section here, make sure that the account you just created is selected and click continue. In this section, we're going to choose the file drop down and find the image post that we sent from Boma. So we're going to click show all options here and we can see title, content, summary and images here. So we're going to choose image and close that drop down. The rest of the options aren't important for this demo, but you may want to look at them anyway. We're going to scroll down to the bottom and click continue. Now you can see an option to, to test this action. We're going to click test and review. We can see here that a media was sent to WordPress, which means the image from the BOMA post has now been uploaded to WordPress as media. Now that we've successfully completed the upload step, we can add the create post action. So click close at the bottom of this panel and then click the small blue plus to create a new action. Here we search for WordPress again, select it, and now in the action we're going to click create post, then click continue. In this choose account section we'll choose the same WordPress account we used before, click continue. In the setup action step under post type we'll choose posts. Now we need to map the information from BOMA to specific fields in the WordPress post. For this demo, we'll connect the fields for the WordPress title, content, excerpt, and status fields. The remainder of the fields are optional and do not necessarily map to any content in the BOMA post. In the title dropdown, we'll find the title field from the new content post in BOMA and select that. In the content dropdown, we need to choose the content field from the BOMA post. You may need to click this show all options button. Select content. In the excerpt field, we'll do the same thing. Choose the new content post, show all options, and select the summary. Now in the featured media step, we're going to connect the media that was uploaded in the first step. So scroll down, choose custom, choose upload media in WordPress and select the ID. Then we're going to scroll down to status and choose draft. We recommend setting this to draft so that you can review the post in the WordPress admin before you publish it manually. If you are confident in how the Zapier workflow is working, you can change this field to Published to have the post published automatically. Now that you've completed this section, click Continue. Scroll down here and we'll click Test and Review to test the publishing to WordPress. You can see a post was sent to WordPress just now, so the test was successful. Now is a good time to go visit your WordPress website to see that the post is in the admin as a draft. If we head over to our WordPress admin, we should see the new draft post saved. If we click into it, we can see the title and the content and the featured image. Now that we've confirmed that the Zap is working, we can click Turn on Zap. Now the Zap is running, which means it's waiting for new content to be pushed from Boma. When it finds a new piece of posted content, it will send it to your WordPress account as a draft post. You can test the workflow end to end by going back to BOMA and delivering another post. Note that it may take up to 15 minutes for Zapier to perform the task once you post from BOMA.